What's happening YouTube? California Prepper. Well, here is a couple knives that I got a few days ago. I did a, a small unboxing for you guys. Uh, I got those knives there from uh, Nuno Allison on Instagram. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel or not, but if he does, I'll post it in the bottom once I get around to filling out the description. Uh, finally got myself a paramilitary too. Now, I was hoping to get the satin version um, and in a lot better shape than I did, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I got this here, Digicam, uh, DLC coated uh, pair two, and um, this just about new in box, uh, Cold Steel American Lawman, a little dirty, for... Everybody told me I got my ass ripped off, but to me, it, it is what it is. I traded my my 560 for it. It was brand new. Just about, I mean, this thing was almost flawless. Um, and unfortunately, the para that I got isn't didn't come in new in box shape like it was described, or like new in box shape. As you can see, uh, that doesn't wipe off. It's uh, quite beat up. I have taken it uh, to the sharp maker and sharpened her up. But gotta figure something out. I think I uh, I have a buddy that's gonna or a buddy of a buddy that's gonna uh, hook me up with a stone wash for twenty bucks. I mean that's awesome. So hopefully I can either do that or barter with them for it to get this, that done. Maybe do something with the pocket clip as well. So I traded off the 560, but I finally got myself a pair of two. And you know what? I, I as much as people, everybody says I got ripped off. I really think that it was a, it was an all right deal. Um, I was gonna trade the 560 uh, for a satin blade. It was new in box and a G-Shock watch, but I, I'm not a watch guy. I used to be, not anymore. And uh, I was hoping to trade off the G-Shock, and and then I got this offer for a uh, like new in box uh, pair two and uh, the American Lawman and I hopped on it and after it got here it turned out from <laughs> like Guy Carter said not to be in like new condition uh, Guy Noble he's a great guy I love that guy he's awesome but I did get myself the pair two and I love it like everybody says you know, it's a great little knife, fun to play with. What's awesome is I have the matching military to it. Shout out to AutoTac91. Haven't shouted him out in a while. Haven't really been on here in a while. Sorry, guys. Just been so busy. If you guys see my last video, <laughs> the ramble that was supposed to be uh, an Zun review or an Zun clone review, yeah, it didn't turn out too good. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, a couple new acquirements. I do have another knife, but I ain't going to show you that piece of junk. Hopefully, uh, we can fix that trade because I am pissed. The American Lawman's pretty bad. This is my first time ever owning it. This is my first cold steel. It's my first uh, time ever playing with the triad lock. Seems pretty strong. Thinking about uh, stripping this um, down, getting this black paint off because. Uh, I, I like the the look of it after uh, it gets stripped down. It looks pretty cool. Now all I gotta do is get that uh, code four and spear point, and I'll be set on my cold steels. This thing is just ah, it's so hard to open one hand. If you can't flick it, no way could you flick it. The detention is crazy strong. On this. Look at that thing. Put your finger in there. Woo! That's gonna hurt. I've seen a uh, couple of videos on uh, taking these apart and polishing them up, making them smoother, but <laughs> I'm just not that good with knives. I don't trust myself not to mess something up or put it in wrong. Man, that thing's stiff though, I'll tell you. Came with this awesome yellow lanyard on it though, that was pretty cool. Only thing I got left of the 560 is the lanyard. 
I did keep my lanyard. No way was I getting rid of my Onikus lanyard. That thing's awesome. But I do love my pair too. It's just unfortunately not what it was. Uh, what I was told it was. So that's what sucks. Is when you know if he would have told me, hey, it's a little beat up, you know, whatever. That's cool. But don't tell me it's like new condition and then when it gets here it fucking looks like it's been put through a damn lawnmower or something but there's you know it's just cosmetic no nothing really that you know stops the performance it's still smooth it's awesome it's a sweet knife I don't know if it's really worth as much as the 560 but it is what it is that was the only way I was gonna get one so I did what I had to, and I, I really didn't carry my 560. Like, like I've said, uh, that I, I babied it so much. You know, I knew that it was my most expensive knife, and if something ever happened to it, I would have just kicked myself in the ass. You know, so I, I never carried it, and if I did, I mean, it, it never cut anything. I think I maybe cut some paper a couple times, but that was about it. Actually, I cut my finger the day before. I traded it off. <laughs> that kind of sealed the deal. Uh, I ended up oiling it up and the detent was just, it, it was too smooth that it just kept falling open and cut cut myself pretty bad. So uh, anyways, here's another ramble for you guys. Just wanted to show you guys a couple new acquirements. The Cold Steel American Lawman and the heavily used Spyderco Paramilitary too. Hopefully we can get this thing uh, looking sexy again. And uh, I will show you guys its makeover. That's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. California Prepper, I'm out of here.